My name is uh, Ziad Mahirsi. I'm a 34-year-old uh, physician. I live in Tunisia. I uh, work in global health, but uh, since the revolution, I'm also a media entrepreneur, and I started uh, a Tunisian news website, the first one of its kind. I, uh, I, uh, I got a Fulbright scholarship to go study in the U.S. at the University of Washington. I ended up uh, being on its faculty for uh, two years. Then I moved back to Tunisia with uh, my American wife, who's a singer-songwriter. I started blogging in 2004. Uh, my, blog is, uh, my blog's name is Zizou from Jerba. Uh, Zizou because uh, my name is Ziad, and, and also because uh, I'm, uh, uh, people always say that I look like Zinedine Zidane, who used to be a famous uh, soccer player, uh, and I have, uh, I'm bald just like him. So Zizou from Jerba, it's, that's the island where I come from. It's, um, it's an island that's famous in the Mediterranean. It has 3,000 years of history. But then uh, slowly I started uh, contributing to the debate of the Tunisian blogosphere. Uh, debating issues related to different policies of the Tunisian government, either in education or agriculture or environment. or um, was quite difficult to talk about this subject at that time because we were uh, fearing the censorship of blogs. Uh, so we were trying somehow to have that debate without really mentioning the name so we don't get caught by the, the keywords we use. So uh, that, that allowed the blogosphere to thrive. And my blog, like other blogs, became uh, a platform where a lot of people discuss ideas. And I think that's the first opportunity we've got as Tunisians to talk about issues without uh, really being uh, uh, spotted by the political police of Ben Ali. That was the first experience of debates. And I think that was a great learning experience because what we've seen recently after the revolution in terms of discussions, it's discussions we already had in the blogosphere. So I can tell that we were ahead of everyone. I think we started as a, a small community of bloggers who who then meet in real life as well and uh, discuss issues in real life. And that was the added value. And, but also at the same time made it uh, kind of impenetrable to those who were not part of also the real life meetings. So um, I think uh, the blogosphere um, was somehow a mini secret society to a certain extent, which allowed it to be underground during the Ben Ali era.